ないこの俺が人間なんだよ All right, so in this one, we are going to be using LF Vegeta Blue. Uh, it seems like unintentionally, I'm just revisiting all of these, uh, you know, LFs that have, you know, maybe not aged, but just the older LFs in the game because of, you know, we do have Goku Vegeta that everyone's using every other match. You have Sword Hope Trunks, who is being used pretty often, and then you kind of have Ultra Vegeta, where that's kind of the, uh, you know, uh, kryptonite of pvp right now where if you go up against it you're you're in a tough spot right and that's what's all running around i do feel like the other lfs do deserve some shine and uh i also think that people don't really see their value anymore you know i've been told a lot of things about vegeta blue about um you know gogeta blue about evolution blue vegeta where they're like okay this lf is shit for right now or this lf is bad for right now and I do feel like, while yes, they are not the cream of the crop, number one anymore, you know, obviously, maybe on release they were. Vegito Blue, for example, was uh, the creator of the most toxic meta, at least in my opinion, because you think about when he came out, and uh, there was no double switching. So basically, if you get comboed by, let's say, Rage Chunks, because the meta was, uh, at least during the anniversary, right, it changed as the Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta dropped, but it was Rage Chunks, Murzumasu, and Vegito Blue, even with a more uh, Blast-centric team with Murzumasu and Rage Chunks holding more Blast Starts, I believe, or doing more Blast damage, at least. Um, you still have Vegito Blue, where, okay, Rage Chunks combos you after taking a combo, uh, Murzumasu's gonna fuck you up after he's getting, you know, all his build-up going on, and then, well, they swap once, and then you swap to your Vegito Blue, he draws three Strike Arts after doing Strike Arts, and then, well, you get Rust, you get Ultimate, you get whatever, and you literally can't do anything, because, again, one swap existed back then, and if you swapped out, you're basically sacking somebody off at that point because Vegeta Blue was so oppressive. And I do feel like he actually can have uh, some value here. Again, he's not going to have the craziest value. If I were to give him uh, a rating, I would say he'd be just a subs option, right? If you want to run a Blue Future unit, you don't have Sword Hope Trunks, use Vegeta Blue. Uh, I don't think he is the uh, greatest option, but I do think he would work out, right? Uh, to look at the team here, he is being run on a Future with Zamasu and Black because, well, boosted unit with defense. I kind of need to run that so we can actually live in PvP. Future Gohan to give that uh, ample support that he can give. My Bencher HP, uh, EX Yellow Broly for that 50% to uh, what? Yellow and Blue, and then Zamasu and Black Leader Slot so they can get that support from EX Broly. And then name it Goku to Zenkai buff Vegito Blue on top of double attack for everyone. Uh, he is getting what? A strike attack and defense from himself up there. Future Gohan, I believe, strike attack and defense. Zamasu and Black are double defense, and I think strike attack. And then again, my is HP. Uh, Equip-wise, we do have pretty nice stuff on him. Uh, I am trying to farm this equip, get three of it, but I do only have two, unfortunately. This equipment, you stay here. Very good for uh, every future unit. Obviously, you see that pure 6%, right? That's 18% pure. That's going to be multiplied into your stats. Very fucking nice for any unit that's going to be uh, using that. This one, Cure Copy, Blast Events, and Strike Attack. This slot is uh, either Strike or Blast. I do have both, you know, ready one different equipment with both rolls. If I were to recommend if you're rolling this, uh, get key recovery. Critical is the most useless slot in the entire game, so try to get key recovery. Both are pretty useless, but key recovery is better, at least in some circumstance. I actually do think it's pretty nice for Vegeta Blue, because he struggles with this key recovery. That's his main uh, drawback to him, at least right now, and when he even came out, his key recovery is not that great, so you have that there. Okay, it kind of fixes him to an extent, you know, not fully, but to an extent. And then this one, uh, double defense and pure strike tech when purple or regen's bell member. Obviously, we do have Zamasu and Black who are regen, so we're going to get that there. Uh, the reason why I'm running double pure is because we have, what, I think it's about 170% uh, base attacks there. So it is warranted to run double pure because, obviously, the diminishing return caps out about 150, 160%. So we are hitting that threshold where uh, double peers will work out. On top of the Zenkai buff, he's getting a lot, a lot, of, a lot of damage support, right? Uh, Future Gohan does have the same equipment as... Vegito Blue, just so we get some offense there. Again, the pure will work out. How I calculate peers in my head and probably is more or less accurate, I would say, is per Zenkai buff, run a pure. Per normal team, one pure is your peak. So I have a normal team here. One pure would be uh, the peak I should run for the units not getting Zenkai buffed, right? Vegito Blue being Zenkai buffed, he can run double. But per the non-Zenkai buffed, Future Gohan, 
can get one pure, right? It'll work out for him. The other one's uh, defensive equips here. Obviously, this one, double defense and HP. And this one, double defense, ultimate damage, and special stream damage. And then Demacian Black, I give them all defense because, well, they're meant to defend, right? That's their uh, literal toolkit. Double defense, base health and health restore. Double defense and HP. And then special stream damage, strike defense, and base health because they do draw the blue card on their main ability. Vegito Blue, stat-wise, uh, at 10 stars here, not terrible. I would say... You probably have him around this level, maybe a little bit lower, a little bit higher, but I think this is a fine level to uh, look at him here. Not the craziest stats in the game. I think they're pretty average, which I don't think is bad. He is what? How old is he? Um, A year and like six months? Five months? A year and a year and a half almost, basically, if not more, right? So not terrible stats for him there. Uh, main ability, he's healing getting damage afflicted and reduce damage seed he's literally doing everything he can do at that point of when he dropped uh, again z ability strike tech and defense for fusion gaki or future triple z ability it's very nice i think it was up to 32 38 it goes up 10 percent at 14 holy shit, that's a lot holy shit. uh and then damage afflicted he's getting 50 percent on entry reduce damage seed by 30 percent so on his main ability he's getting 50 percent cut for uh 15 timer counts when he enters right which is pretty nice that's a lot of cut to be honest then nullify attribute downgrades on all conditions, 15 timer counts, draw special arts card next, activates once on his entry. Then he can knock back combo into a blue card, which does lock in his blue card, but is a long animation, so a give and take there. Then his uh, second unique, extra damage to Fusion Warrior, which actually is pretty nice right now because, well, Ultra Gogeta, Super Vegito, you're running into fusions literally 24-7. If not Ultra Gogeta, then Super Vegito on Mono Purple, vice versa with Blue Purple Super Saiyans or whatever you're going to face, right? Uh, Fusion Warrior is actually a very viable team right now as well that's being run a lot. And then this unique, uh, the Green Broly, I believe, has something very similar to this, where it's different buffs, but the concept of they do this, I get this. Well, it's when they swap into, uh, or what the enemy is, Vegito Blue is getting something. So if they swap to a melee type, he's going to get 4% to strike damage inflicted. They swap to a ranged, he's getting 4% to blast damage. Uh, support type, he gets card draw speed, very nice from there. Not many support types are very meta right now, but it is very nice if it does happen. And then a defense type... Zamasu in black, I guess, would be that. Um, he would gain, uh, you know, sustained damage cut effects, which, I mean, to Zamasu in black, that wouldn't do much because they're so tanky. But it could be nice for a situation in the future of PvP, right? Then the flying effects occur upon landing strike guards. Draw stri strike guards card next, activates twice. Uh, when switched to standby, it resets. Very good. That's three strike guards, basically. Then restores on key by five. Inflicts enemies attribute downgrade minus 100% health restore three timer counts. Very nice for the current meta. It would be great if it were longer, but, I mean, <laughs> they probably didn't anticipate where we are now. His strike does have blast armor. His blue card is a long animation. Green card does not have blast armor, and his ultimate does have blast armor, where it does uh, nullify special cover change because Purple Bojack was running rampant when this guy uh, released because of how good movies was, and he kind of said, fuck that. Bojack is not stopping my ultimate, and now you get fucked up. A lot of people will forget about that, and uh, it worked out. And does no find endurance as well for three time counts after activation of it. But with all that being said, let's get into the matches. In what rank are we, anyways? Uh, God rank, I assume, still right? I haven't played. <laughs> yeah, God rank PvP and see how LF Vegito Blue can do. First match up against Fusions. I'm not even entirely sure what I'm up against here. Okay, let's blast. Hopefully, I don't get PV'd here. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, I s thought I sidestepped. I guess not. Okay, destroy your hand there. That green card should be gone. So we kept the green card. I thought I would destroy it when I uh, destroyed his hand, but okay. I guess not. Let's go to you. Do some decent damage there. Should have popped that earlier, I could have called him. It is what it is. Okay, called him there, destroy Dragon Ball. Won't do the craziest damage, but destroy Dragon Ball. Okay. Called him here. Uh, let's go into Vegito Blue very quickly. Do all this good damage here. He can swap. Okay! <laughs> I just want my uh, Vegito Blue to do something. I'm going to green card here. Catch. Called him. Uh, his Gogeta 4 is probably dead, right? Yeah, he would have been dead there. I mean, that's a blue to a green. You gotta respect it, right? 
I'm not sure if they're dead. He penetrates cut, I believe, on this. Oh, so close. So close, you dickhead. Okay, a blast. Oh, he waited. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, he just swapped after one card, and he swapped again. Cool. Um, Let's go to you. All right, called him. I'm going to do it quickly. All right, worked out. I think we killed Gogeta 4? I think? Oh, we didn't even... Yeah. That actually makes sense, yeah. Gogeta 4 is uh, more value. Well, I mean, this guy is full neutral, right? Damn, he went. He probably has a blue card here, actually. Oh, he didn't do it. Uh, I'm gonna attack here. I... <laughs> my finger wasn't even on my screen! <laughs> okay! I... <laughs> what? No. No. No, no, no. Let's go quickly! Gogeta Blue shouldn't be back yet. I mean, if he doesn't want to rush, I won't rush. It's pretty good damage future, Gohan. Okay, I'll vibe out here. Caught him there. Very nice catch on future Gohan to kill you. I'm actually gonna tackle. Nice. Nice. I don't know if he saw my tackle animation, so I assume that's why I did that. Okay. Let's sidestep. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd catch him. Oh. I mean, that was a fun no-rush match, to be honest. Uh, he played well enough. Uh, nice stuff from Judo Blue, at least that one combo he did. He scared them into swapping, right? So, if you get in that situation, you're obviously in a winning spot where your blue is making them swap from green to somebody else, right? Uh, Cancelling those buffs on his green card, obviously, is very nice. It's kind of just uh, in a play style where you have to learn how your opponent's going to anticipate your attack. Because even if I missed that, I believe the green card's a short animation, so I could have went straight into the ult, which he probably would have anticipated me to sidestep. But if I went straight into the ult, I probably would have killed that uh, Gogeta 4 regardless, I would say, because it would have been no combo conversation. But we will never know. Still very good, at least in that one combo, where he didn't really have much Richard Go on support. So, it's pretty nice. The dull peers are definitely going to help him here. Fusion's here. Alrighty, let's see what we can do. Hopefully win. There's the uh, automatic green card. That's Gogeta gets. Okay. Caught him there. I'm just going to throw this because, well, he can just cover change. So, let's get that not able to happen. Let's go quickly. Cool. Can drop and swap. Honestly, swapping there probably isn't even ideal. I'm actually going to end the combo there because that 8% cut is going to bother me. I assume he goes to Majub here to seal my strikes. No, maybe he'll do it right here. So let's seal an Arth card of his. Or he'll do nothing. All right, got it. I figure he tackle there. Works out for us. This is a low star uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And we are kind of clobbering this man. I'm going to drop here, actually. I really anticipate a swap there because his, well... His Gogeta's fucking leaking, right? I didn't think he just wanted to die so quickly, but I guess so. This is fine, though. Uh-huh. Remove your Vanish. Uh, if you don't swap here, you're going to die right now. Swap? I'm going to throw it. He didn't swap. He's dead. Nice. Oh, we'll pop another green. Did he pop his... I think he popped it? No! Mm. I was looking for the buff effects to see if he popped it. Okay, I'm just going to let him have that, whatever. Because the buff effect would have been a sustained damage cut, I believe. Went up if he pops the green. Like he just went there, right there. Yeah, it would have been damage inflicted. Okay. Good to know. Uh, let's remove your cards. Two cards destroying. Okay. It's going to be Striker Blast. I honestly, it could be another green. Because, well, he draws an automatic green, right? Unfortunate 50-50 there. I'm not sure why he rushed Future Gohan. Um... Can't see the value in that. Maybe you just want to get some damage done. But okay. I appreciate it personally. It's that oh, another blue. Just out of thin air. He just okay. Cool. We have decent support here. Another green. Okay. Just let Vegito Blue eat this. It's not a lot of damage. <laughs> Another blue, another green, just kind of back-to-back -back out of thin air, huh? Nice. That's good luck, for sure. <laughs> okay, another blue. You have no vanish. You're not going to swap, so I'm just going to kill your Majub here. And if you do swap, you're dead, because we're penetrating cut. Okay. Uh, we're going to be locked in here with Ultra Gogeta, which is fine. I think we can handle him with, well, 3v-fucking-1 at this point. 
Obviously nullifying endurance here, so we are vibing. I'm just gonna go for this mid-range strike. Unique! I've never seen that one before. That was a very good play. Uh, there's not even a point to wrap up this match because now Vegeta Blue died because he DC'd on me. Nice! I'm glad that's how people are playing the game right now. It's awesome. Purple, purple, yellow with full power Frieza. I mean, he is here to fuck over my future Gohan, so I do, you know, understand why. It's just, I didn't anticipate this team. Let's cancel your buffs. Uh, I'll do one more dental toast blue card if he doesn't swap. All right, I'll take this free damage. It's going to be a lot of damage to Goku Vegeta. Yeah, not bad. Oh, good, he swapped. Scary for me. I don't want to do anything because uh, I'm going to get fucking nuclear'd. I mean, you're giving my timer counts down, so I appreciate that. Okay, I'm just gonna tap again. Good. You know what? Good. I deserve that because I'm gonna get nuked by that unit and I don't want to get nuked. I'm gonna drop here. Hmm. Okay, at least I caught him there. I probably could have popped my main ability and uh, actually nuked the shit out of him, but it is what it is. We don't need to necessarily right now. We're in an okay spot regardless. Gonna do terrible blast damage here. But that's fine. Okay. Okay, he's doing nothing. Understood. Let's tap. Okay. Tap for me. Seal his main. Caught him there. Let's go into a strike. Mm -hmm. uh, he does have a strike cover change here. So let's be wary of that. He's probably going to do it right here. No. I mean, I'm going to keep going. We're penetrating cut, and I don't think Freeze is back yet, so we should kill Purple Vegeta Blue. He is back. Unfortunate. Freeze is not tanky, but he does live this, most likely. I'm not sure his stars, but again, he probably lives this. We don't have uh, any support for future Gohan. Yeah. That sucks. Okay. Sidestep. He's sidestepping here. I heard him. Do you just die? Yes. Good, 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 good. Let's actually seal your greens and blues. Even though he just did a blue, I doubt he has another. Catch him. Yes, sir. Oh, just kidding. Well, I kind of caught him. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Basically a perfect so far because, well, he only tap attacked me. Kill that Vegeta and we win the match. Not bad. Uh, full power Frieza with pur pur purple Vegeta blue, I guess, because of the general support. But why not just use the uh, purple Super Saiyan blue Vegeta? Like, right now wise, that purple Super Saiyan blue Vegeta shits on purple Vegeta blue. Purple Vegeta blue has no spot because everything he does is so mediocre compared to what that Vegeta does who just amps beyond belief. There's no need to bring purple Vegeta blue. He's literally useless beyond belief like red kefla can have more usage in at least a different meta purple vegeta blue in every meta would have no usage because well ah like red kefla can do like really good damage in one certain spot while purple vegeta blue does everything mediocre and just doesn't do anything great uh it, it's unfortunate but they did one vegeta blue great lf and then one they did dirty as fuck purple right it, it sucks hopefully the next vegeta blue is uh well, not an ultra, but just better than the newest one of Purple Vegeta Blue. Vados in 2022? Vados? I... Alright. Let's see what Vados can do. She couldn't win the Clash. Thankfully, that was me. Right, let's see how Vados tanks a blue unit. I mean, I'm just gonna throw it. Yeah. Vados... Probably isn't the move. I'm very sad I didn't have enough key there. Swap. Reduces key and shit. It actually does help Evolution Blue. Uh, Vados with Evolution Blue is probably not the best pairing because, well, uh, Evolution Blue wants low key. Vados gives key on Switch. It's it's a whole mess situation, actually. I want to swap. He went for a full screen strike. It didn't even try to look silly. Smart. It was actually smart. I just didn't anticipate it. Why would you sidestep? Oh, he probably didn't have enough key, huh? I'm assuming that's why, right? Oh, well, at least we have future go on support, so we're gonna do a lot of damage. Do we kill? Those debuffs. Ah, you fucker. It's Mossy and Black. Those debuffs are uh, very nice that they offer. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. PV! PV! He's sidestepping. I heard him. And now, uh, well, Vanos, you're probably gonna swap and try to save her, which, uh, I mean, go for it, but, yeah, did, did not recommend that play, for sure. I want to try to get my LF, if that's possible, Vegito Blue. 
Did I just do a blue card? I just, I literally just did a blue card. I know I drew one from Zamasu in black, but maybe he doesn't know. He knows everything. Maybe that Vamos isn't good in 2022, he doesn't know. That's unfortunate. Well, I sealed his green and blue a little bit late there. Unfortunate. He's probably going to sidestep here. No, you know what? He's going to attack. No, nope, no, nope, he was going to sidestep. I was right. This probably kills. No combo, and he has a lot of buffs going. This probably kills me. Oh my god, we actually lived that. Holy shit. He's doing a blast. We caught him. Yeah, yeah. Vados, goodbye. Yeah, Vados, goodbye. No LF, but we are getting card draw speed because Vados is a support unit, and he did swap to a support unit. So, well, it won't really matter. Now, it could have mattered in a different era. Wait, okay, I thought you weren't going to die. This guy does the same exact thing every time. The, uh... That sucks. The one sidestep into instantly clicking just whatever fucking card he has, right? Seeing the sidestep here? No, he didn't. Hello? Oh, yeah, another blue. Yeah, he does that every... Okay, I need to just... I just need to wait. <laughs> That's all. I just need to wait, because I'm just, like, giving him this match for free right here. Just be a little patient, then we'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Heal. Nice. I mean, Vegeta is that guy. Like, he can do this, for sure. And he has the ramp up. I want Vegeta Blue to win this, damn it. He did a green, so it's going to be Striker Blast, most likely. I just hope I could guess him to make it easier. Appreciate you. I'll let Future go on die here, so I'm going to Blast Starts. Oh. Well, the plan was to let him die, so I can get the buff and have Vegeta Blue finish it. But, okay. Um... Yeah, Vados 2022, Vados doesn't even pair well with Evolution Blue because he's getting key, he wants low key. I understand it's meant to extend the combo, but it's in the same time really not letting him peek out, so it's a weird spot. I love 5 RP. Thank you, Dragon Ball Legends, for pairing me with BR60! While I am, well, well above BR70. I'm probably like BR70 fucking 2 or 3 if that were a thing, because 15.5? Yeah, 15.5k is uh, 70 and 16.3, so... Thank you, Legends, for the uh, perfect matchmaking. At least it's in DC, though, so we'll take that. But Evolution Blue, decent value. Vegito Blue, good value. They're doing well together. Against each other, but together. Super Saiyans here. Okie dokie. Mid-screen strike. Get that early damage. I appreciate you. Very nice. Get that PV once again. We are going to drop here because he's going to swap to Future Gohan. A little bit predictable. I guess he doesn't care, uh, necessarily, but still, it worked out for us. Oh, I appreciate that support, buddy. Thank you. You want my Vegito Blue to nuke? I appreciate you. Go quickly. I thought it worked out, because last time I went quickly, so I thought he'd uh, try to switch it up, but no. A lot of damage there. Uh, Vegito Blue, honestly, just eat this. I think it's fine if you just eat this, because you could heal on main. Ah, 1.2 million. That's a lot. Let's tap again. He's going to sidestep. Yep. Mmm. Nice wait. I should win that. <laughs> I fucking hope so. It really sucks that spot that we get in if we do clash there. Because then I don't draw the strike cards. Because we clashed, right? Hmm. Did you catch me? He did. Caught him sidestepping there. Can you swap? This should kill. And you shouldn't be able to swap. You can swap. Wow. That felt quick. That felt really quick. And no sub countdown on his team at all. Damn, that would have killed easily. Holy shit. Damn, he's just going to tap bait. Okay. He's been doing it the entire game. I guess. Okay. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Pop your main. Oh, why would you... Wait, what are you doing? He just wasted Bardock's ult and didn't ult my Gohan to kill him. What? Yeah, why, 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 why would you do that? That was not smart at all. Why would he do any of that? That was silly. Like, and he just let Bardock die. What are you doing? What the hell? He didn't even try to go for your Gohan there. I'm just gonna eat the shit. Let's tap. Mm-hmm. Nullifying your endurance here, and now, well, Gogeta is going to lock me in, so he's probably going to tackle, I'm going to try to rush, I'm going to miss, and it's going to be uh, a sad spot, but 
What am I gonna do? <laughs> Can't do anything, honestly. Oh, it went for strike. I actually would have called him on the tackle there because I did that like pinpoint timing, which it's hard to do because, well, you anticipate one thing, then they might do this, and then, well, it just becomes a fuck spot. He might have done nothing right there and he would have worked out for him because, again, I was just anticipating him to do something, so I was waiting for the rush. He played that very weird. He could have easily won that. Because if he popped Ultra Gogeta's thing, or main, uh, which he had, obviously, because I had my fucking Vegeta Blues main, like, everyone had their mains ready. He could have killed my future Gohan, I had no swaps. And even if I did, he probably would have killed my Vegeta Blue if I could swap, if I were going to swap, right? And he threw away Bardock's uh, main where he gets Vanish back on his ultimate. I don't know why he did any of that. That was kind of a throwaway. That's unfortunate for him, at least. But Vegeta Blue doing good damage. Uh, he did really good when he went through uh, Ultra Gogeta's cut on his ultimate because I think he has like 100% cut penetration. So doing as much as he did, like, it's pretty nice. Wait, no. What's that? I think that was actually Vegeta Gohan. I am a mess, but... Regardless, he's still doing nice. He's not holding me back, at least. Like, he's quicker than Sword of Hope Trunks, but obviously Sword of Hope Trunks, post-gauge, everything else he does is better. But he's quicker, which allows for faster match play, which does allow him to be good, at least in this meta, where, again, he's quicker than other units that are in his uh, boat of usage, right? I'm so confused. Did I wait till zero counts? I didn't even see the timers. Why? Why? I didn't get to pick my team! What just happened? What the hell? Sway, K. Bro, I am so confused! I didn't pick my team! Bro, I am so confused. Okay, whatever. Let's just play this match. Throw a blue card! Do it! Do it! Do it! Did he not do it? Coward. Coward! Probably not a great swap there, huh? I'll have you eat that. Do another card? No. You can't swap. Oh my god. Yeah, future chunks support. Uh, future chunks. <laughs> yeah, future chunks on this team. Uh, <laughs> future go on support. Be hitting different a little bit with, again, the fucking. What? What's he have? 28% pure? Holy shit, yeah! That was a lot of strike damage on that first hit as well. Ooh! Die, 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 die. Yo! Yo! That's a lot of fucking damage. That's a green, that's a boosted green tank. Yo, what the fuck? He's on crack right here! What the fuck? So if I don't pick my team, he cracks out? You see that shit? Yo, yo. Yo, I actually that was like crazy. Holy shit. So wait. Yeah, we win this match here. Um, why was he just on fucking crack in like 27 other drugs with that damage on Tomasu Goku Black? That's actually insane. All right, well, let's do a few more matches. Probably like one or two more and then wrap it up. That was fucking nuts. Movies? I think, I I'm not even sure. That has so little health on that. Uh, Goku Vegeta. <sighs> Why do they have so little health? Let's just swap. Gonna do no damage here. I mean, if he swaps, that'd be nice for me at least, but I doubt he will. Okay, okay. Let's pop this. He has no vanish here. Let's see if he swaps. I doubt it. He did. Haha. <laughs> Actually, good play. Nice. No. I thought he'd have a green card there to be real. Let's go quickly. Um, let's go a little bit slow. We should get enough key to do this. Please! Don't drop. Didn't drop good. If it dropped, he could have easily... Uh, whatchamacallit? Oh! Are you dead? I think you're dead here. Get that debuff helped me just enough. No. Oh, he didn't even do anything else. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um... I mean, he can clobber lower star units. I'm pretty sure that was that, but let's get into another match. A uh, god key with Sword of Hope, I think? I Well, this just looks like future. Oh, good. The green card. Okay, let's try to win this. Should win that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we'll go to Puddle to throw this, because we need some damage to go off here. 
tank. Called him there as well. Not much going on there, but it is okay, because he just has a green and blue. Just on deck! Yes! Yes! Why not? <laughs> Called him there. Actually, we'll go into another blast here. Alright, I'm gonna swap. Swap! I honestly thought he'd swap there. That's okay, that's fine. We'll do some damage here with Vegeta Blue, build up some uh, Dragon uh, Balls. We are one away from a rush here, which is nice. We're doing negative damage, which, I mean, I anticipate. <laughs> okay, blue card in hand. Size up again. Go quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go to Puddle. Swap. No. Hello? Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? I dashed forward and tried to pop my main. What was that? What the? He has a blue, he didn't do it here. Or not. Yo, I am confused. I'm gonna be blunt. Goodbye, uh, sort of copium. What? I do. <sighs> okay, whatever. I was trying to dash forward, pop my main, catch a mid sidestep, because I was gonna drop combo, and then kill his. Sort of hope that that was the plan, but Legends literally just said, uh, 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 "No." Oh. Okay. Um. At least it can show that Future Gohan, you know, with one random ass pure equip, can do really good damage, right? Because I mean, he's doing really good damage just with what one tap attack to him. So you know, these showcases, while they're for you know Vegito Blue and whoever else I'm using with Future Gohan, I mean, Future Gohan's still doing all the work. He is literally just like that guy right now who's just everywhere because of how much he can offer for everyone else and right there you see what he could do himself and what he just did for Vegeta Blue to where we had a lot of support going into that and he would have nuked the shit out somebody because we're penetrating cut on top of well we dropped combo so there was no combo conversation to fuck us over we'll do like one more match these last few have been very quick so we'll try to get a longer one and then uh wrap this up last match up against I'm not even sure. I think it was just the Saiyan team. Hello? Oh. Did I not click my card? <laughs> I guess not. Destroy his hand here. There's nothing else you can do. Let's tap. Tap one more time. Mm -hmm. Works out for us there. We're going to stall uh, just for a little bit so I can go into Vegito Blue. Please give me a strike arts on my next card. I beg you, or no card. It's fine debuff swap for me appreciate that now i'm gonna remove all your buffs and debuff you there well all your cancelable buffs at least oh well, that wasn't good that i canceled that was it huh okay caught him there <laughs> this boss damage is not gonna be it yeah it's definitely not it he's really nice nice he's really anticipating uh no strike arts there huh Sidestep. Hmm. Okay, caught him regardless. That's a blast cover, right? From Ultra Goku, I believe. Give me a card. With Dragon Ball Legends. With the Dragon Ball Legends. You get the name? You get the reference? It's funny. I'm not gonna kill here. We have no support build up. Uh, Ultra Goku looking like a beefcake here at least. So that's nice. <laughs> Look at that tanking. Crazy. That's a long animation, my good friend. And someone's dead here because I can pop this into the uh, ultimate and Goku Vegeta will die if they eat this because it's nullifying. Uh, they're penetrating through cut, so we're fine here. But he didn't want to risk it because why would you sack off your actual good unit? Yeah, we're fine here. We're fine. We're going to win this match, I think. I mean, I hope so. Let's wait. Okay, let's keep waiting. Nice, nice patience. I believe his main is sealed here, so we can't do that much, right? I'm gonna go instantly. I don't really care if he sidesteps this. Oh, he didn't even sidestep. I don't I don't know why you went sidestep there. He had the opportunity to, you had the timing to do that. But he didn't, so oh, okay. Why not? Sure. <laughs> He's gonna tackle me probably. If only I caught him. I mean I did. If only I caught him on the sidestep. Hello? Lag? Random lag? Hello? 
Did Jail Blue finish it? You are a fucking pest. <laughs> okay. Nice, bro. Nice. <sighs> You're a pest. Appreciate it. Vegeta Blue is great. A little bit of struggle recording this video because some units just fucking nuke the shit out of him because, well, uh, he is older and it's gonna how it's gonna go how it is. Wow, poor RP. That's phenomenal. I love I love the RP system. It's great. What do you guys think of LF Vegeta Blue? Would you run him today? And if you do, how good is he for you? What do you run him on? What equips? All that. Let me know what I think of him. I'll see you guys in the next one.